Good evening. I'm Nancy Grace. I want to thank you for being with us. A bombshell tonight. As we go to air, in the last hours, prosecutors reverse their decision. The state of Florida will seek the death penalty. Do you have any interest in helping us? I've had interest in helping law enforcement from the beginning, unfortunately. My hands were literally tied, and I was put in a position where someone's trying to trick a confession Well, I don't want to, no, no, no. That's no. not going to happen. The state's attorney office just filed a motion to seek the death penalty against her. Now, this means a possible death sentence back on the table. This woman has no priors. She's never had contact with the law before. There's no other prior violent felonies. They're going to argue that it was especially heinous, atrocious, and cruel. A hack, as we call it. I have not heard my granddaughter's voice since June 16th, 2008. Do not say, ask me that again, sir, because I will walk out of here. If someone touches me, I'm going to file harassment charges if someone's touching me. Brad, you know, it's, did sometime during the time she was missing before the remains were found, did, did you, you know something? If you said her remains one more time, sir, I'm walking out this door. OK. How dare you? Say that about my granddaughter. How dare you? How dare you? We have to have hope. We don't have hope. We don't have faith. Listen, and I listen, know you don't listen, have faith. Shut up. No, I'm not shutting up. Tell me I can't pray. Straight out to Mark Williams, anchor and reporter, joining us there in Orlando in a stunning about face. A real twist. The state is now announcing it will seek the death penalty against Todd mom, Casey Anthony. Mark Williams, why the about face? Well, they sent a letter of intent. The state attorney's office sent a letter of intent saying that we're going to seek the death penalty once again in this case. They're citing mitigating circumstances, Nancy, contending that uh, Casey Anthony caused the death of a child under the age of 12 years old and that Casey was particularly vulnerable due to the fact that Casey was her mother. Remember, the state had taken the death penalty off the table late last year. That was before they found little Kaylee's body. But now they have uh, all the evidence in totality. Also, Jose Baez, can he try the death penalty case of of the tot mom. It's tough to say he has less than five years experience. That's what the Florida bar requires. And he really has not tried any death penalty cases. He must try at least three cases over a course of five years to, to take on this case. He's going to have to have some heavy guns with him, Nancy. Out to Kathy Bellage with WFTV. Mark Williams is correct. Uh, in every state in this country, in every jurisdiction, to try a death penalty case, to be solo chair or first chair, the lead attorney, you have to have X amount of experience under your belt. Baez doesn't have it. So who will they bring onto the team? And also, Kathy Bellich, I'm having a hard time buying William's explanation as to why they're seeking the death penalty. I've known since she went missing that little Kelly was only two years old. It's no surprise that she suddenly is under 12 years of age. We've known that all along. That's right. Well, there are other aggravating factors, that, uh, some of which he mentioned, but uh, the others are uh, heinous, cruel, atrocious, cold, calculated, premeditated, uh, that the murder was committed during an ag a case of aggravated child abuse. Casey is charged with aggravated child abuse as well. Uh, also, that. Uh, as he mentioned, that Kaylee was vulnerable to Casey as her mother. Uh, with that additional evidence that was recovered at the scene, the duct tape, the heart sticker, other evidence that seems to tie the crime scene to the Anthony's home, that's stronger evidence and shows more premeditation and it shows more cruelty. It shows more calculatedness on the part of the killer. And those are things that probably are under consideration. Also, reports have emerged that highly technical forensic evidence, soil samples off Tot mom, Casey Anthony's shoes found in her car match back up to the location where Kelly's tiny skeleton was dis discovered. Out to our chief editorial producer, Ellie Jostad. Ellie, aggravated child abuse, could mm -hmm. that be the underlying felony which is causing the state to now announce it will seek the death penalty? Well, it could be, Nancy. When the state announced back on December 5th that they weren't going to seek the death penalty, they were waiving the death penalty for Casey Anthony, remember, Kaylee's body had not yet been found. Her body was found on December 11th. So we don't know if it could be the soil from the shoes, if there's something else that definitively links Casey Anthony to that crime scene. And Ellie, 
uh, when they say the possible felony, uh, very often when a murder occurs during a felony, a death occurs during a felony, it's grounds for the death penalty. What right. would the specifics be for aggravated child abuse, possibly the use of chloroform? Exactly. That could be it, Nancy. And we don't know if perhaps they have other evidence that we haven't heard about yet that could suggest some other way that Kaylee was killed, and that could be what we're looking for. Let's unleash the lawyers. We are taking your calls live with me, child advocate family lawyer Sue Moss out of New York, Alex Sanchez, a renowned defense attorney also out of New York, and defense attorney and author of prosecutorial misconduct, Joseph Lawless out of the Philadelphia jurisdiction. Sue Moss, weigh in. She'll get no protection from the injection. You know, now that everything has come together, now that the evidence is starting to pile up, and that soil evidence is going to be the one that slams the door shut. This is going to be a death penalty case, and I think they're going to they're going to go for the death penalty. Alex Sanchez. You know, everybody's assuming they're acting in good faith that they have some justifiable reason. I'm wondering if they're just plain old pandering to the national media frenzy. Because what facts have changed since the initial uh, time when they decided not to uh, file the death okay, penalty? Okay, Sanchez, thanks for analyzing the evidence so well. Lawless? Other side of the coin is, Nancy, if you put death on the table, all of a sudden a plea to second or third degree looks strong. They may not have strong evidence. There may be a weakness there, and this is a way to, one, get Sanchez off the case, get another lawyer in there who looks at it differently, and two, make a plea to something less than death look more reasonable to Casey Anthony.